This is the Stronium Nitro Micro SD card 3-in-1 kit. The version I have here is the 32 gig variant. You can also find this in 16 and 64 gig variants. So let's take a look at what it is and how well it performs. When it comes to the Nitro's packaging, I really like its bright colors. I feel that the layout is really nice and I like how easy it is to open the package. You just pull off the back and you can quickly get access to the memory card and all your accessories without the need of a scissors, which is great. The card itself mirrors the packaging's design of a yellow and white theme, and I like it quite a fair bit. It stands out a lot when it comes to a black surface. The memory card reader and the micro SD to SD card adapter is okay. I like the packaging, it's dark, and well, there isn't too much special to say about it. The card reader has a nice hole on the top, which you can use to put a lanyard in. It's nice and small, and the micro SD card doesn't stick out, which is nice. There really isn't much special to say about a card adapter, so I'll just move on from there. This 32 gig card is rated at class 10 and UHS 1. On the packaging, it markets itself as being able to get up to speeds of 70 megabytes a second, of course, that being read. If you go for the 64 gig or higher, you actually do get faster speeds. It's actually rated at 80 megabytes a second and 566x instead of the current one, which is 70 megabytes per second and 466x. But enough of that, let's open it up and benchmark it. The tools I'm going to use here is Crystal Dismox 5.2, the UWP version, and I'll be using my Transcend memory card reader, which is rated at 60 megabytes write and 90 megabytes read. And whoa, it is sequential read. For a multi threaded sequential read test, we get actually 86.5 megabytes a second read. Not bad. And for the sequential single threaded test, we get 84 megabytes a second. It's a lot higher than rated 70 megabytes a second on the packaging, so good thumbs up for that. On the right side, we get 19.61 for a multi threaded test and 22 megabytes a second for a single threaded test, which is not bad, but it's definitely not the highest we have seen for its price class. And the story gets a little bit worse when we come to the random read and write. And our multi-threaded read, we get 3.15 megabytes a second. On our single-threaded random read, we only get 2.92 megabytes a second. And when it comes to the write, it's worse. For our multi-threaded random write, we get 0 0.6 Oh, 4 megabytes a second and for a single threaded random write, we get 0 0.59 megabytes a second. A lot lower, especially when you compare it to a slightly cheaper card, the Samsung Evo, which on the random read and writes, we get about almost double. So here lies the strength of this card. It is really good for fast reads. So because of this, I do not really recommend this if you're going to use it on your phone or a computer and you're going to be installing a lot of cache data on it or application data where random reads and writes do matter a lot. But for multimedia purposes, like using it on a camera, if the speed is acceptable to you, it's great because you can quickly copy files off. And just for fun, I decided to benchmark this card on the packaged in USB card reader. So let's take a look at the results. And it's well to be expected. Our sequential read speed seems to be topped out at about 20 megabytes a second and write at about 16, 17 megabytes a second. So obviously it's a cheap one and it's not bad for a pinch or if you don't have a memory card reader. But if you want to fully utilize the speed of this card, I highly recommend you pick up a better memory card reader. If you want to get a card of your own or this memory card reader, check out the links I have in the description. I have them all linked down there. And if you buy it from one of the links down there, I do get a small kickback so you can do that to show support. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.